when I grew up, I was grown and raised and educated to do the right thing that we do here in America. You see, and now it's just not there anymore. Those values are gone. I mean, you know, they don't... For them to kill kids, and it doesn't mean anything. The Arabs, they don't, they don't count. How did your parents come about to be in, in Israel? Their family, they lost their family, entire family, during the Holocaust, and they were like teenagers, 16, 17, and they were sent by their family on their own to what's at that time was called Palestine. And they came in illegally when the British still had the mandate over Palestine. Uh, it was after the 67 war and I was stationed east of Jerusalem. And it was a smack in the middle of a refugee camp that we just acquired after the war. Up to that point, they were under Jordanian jurisdiction. So we ran one morning, training, you know, the whole group of us with a sergeant, two sergeants running along with us. And this woman passes by an Arab woman. And you know how they carry their stuff on their heads and she has a little baby she's holding in her hand. And she was pregnant, like probably in ninth months or whatever. And he stops us in our tracks, and he points at her and says, what she has in your stomach, in her stomach, is your enemy. If you're a Palestinian Israel, you have to have a different license plate on the car so they can spot you as a non-Israeli. You have to have a pass to every place you go. And what a pass means is that you'll be standing in lines, check lines, hours. Hours. So what they have to do, and this is happening as we speak, for them to go into work, they have to get up at three or four in the morning to make it there at eight because of all the lines that they have along the roads. If you are, if you have all the information in, and you say what you just said that Israel is okay and all that stuff, if you live here, you actually betray what our country stands for. That's what, it, and that's what pisses me off. You see, we enable them to do all this shit without putting our foot. We want everybody, you know, to be a democracy, whatever. But except for that one place, you know, they can do whatever they want, and they do whatever they want. But this is it. This is exactly where it's at. You know, you are really going against all American principle if you support that country. And if most of the population of this country knew. But I know <laughs> $3.2 billion is not going to go there every year.